to the queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. The following is an Extreme Rules match. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. If you want to create a legacy, in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. And Charlotte will stop you and they'll leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet, strength, blowing ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Warrior carrying his trusted blade, Angela McIntyre summons the support of the WWE Universe into battle. warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given he's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon yeah the wwe is the scottish warriors battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone Extreme rules. Remember, this is an ODQ match with no count outs. You do have to pin or submit your opponent to the ring, but other than that, just about anything goes. Guys, I'm pretty sure we're about to see some fireworks in this one. Fireworks would technically be legal here. Outstanding powerbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Scoop slam. Wait, no. Wow. Outrageous strength on display. Oh, that's down with a vertical suplex. Oh, his shoulder takes a pounding there. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Uh-oh. Dragon sleeper applied. This could be it. Oh, is he going to tap back? And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. A picture-perfect leg snap from Charlotte. Oh, it's high! Body from the top! Into the penitentiary! And there's the kick out! He's still in this. In this type of match, Byron, how does a superstar combat against the fact that they could fall victim to a vicious and hellacious attack? Well, the difficult part is once an opponent gets the upper hand, you have to stop the onslaught yourself. Lock it in. 
and the Dragon Sleeper. He is in deep trouble. Could Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why, though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched in. Cover. And he manages to kick out in one. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. And now she's looking to go top rope. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Soaring. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. An absolutely terrible landing ringside. Ooh, stiff punch. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Draped across the barricade. Oh, strong knee connects. Oh, McIntyre. Manhandling his opponent is Drew McIntyre. The player retaliating. He saw it coming, taking advantage. That was just malicious. Insulting. An overbearing assault on Charlotte now. Charlotte trying to withstand this surge. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Oh my God. A sledgehammer. This is going too far. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Looking wobbly in the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. And Flair gets that turn back on her. Rocked out with a neck breaker. Offense like that is why Drew McIntyre's a game changer. Next level brutality coming from McIntyre. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Charlotte showing how much punishment she can withstand before busy out to the world. But she still has to do more to get this fully in her favor. Oh, and the cover for the win! Oh, no. I thought for sure he was done. Oh. Makes him pay with a counter. Big four. through the ringer tonight. This is a very dangerous situation now. Charlotte needs to utilize some of that famous flair stamina to get back in this. I agree with you. Targeting the ankle. And he 
gets delivered back into the ring. If you're looking to cut off quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Sorrow is in trouble. Makes a cover. Charlotte Flair proving why she's been the measuring stick in the women's division for so long. A lesser competitor would have stayed down for three. And where McIntyre goes from here is unknown. Drew is accustomed to putting out so many men with that maneuver. And some effective offense with that one. No stick impact. <laughs> and these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. And that one misses the mark. And we just saw some serious offense. There is nothing but mal intent behind each of these attacks. And listen to this place. Drew showing how much punishment he can withstand before paying it back himself. Drew weathered the storm and wants to create some of his own thunder now. The countdown is on, gentlemen. That could be the spark she was looking for. A showstopper. Bodies have been decimated. Fortitude has been tested. And these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. She did. Charlotte's keeping the pressure on. Charlotte exhibiting that genetic superiority. How did scouted? And McIntyre puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. That could be the torch that lights the fire under McIntyre. And a surge of offense from a batter, Drew McIntyre. The Skies Warrior displaying the stamina to keep victory in his sights. The Queen teeing off, making the climb all the way to the top. Charlotte Flair moonsault. Oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Shoulder tackle. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. He's taking this to the floor now. He's got a kendo stick, a weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. On a leg drop, Bulldog! Can she do it here? Are you kidding me? You got a question, how much is it worth, how much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything, obviously worth every drop of sweat. <laughs> Charlotte Flair with a trademark chopping. Natural selection. McIntyre is in dire straits. He stays alive. He stays alive. Where in the world did Drew McIntyre find the strength, find the heart to just power out like that? I don't know, but also I don't know how much longer he can go on. And Charlotte will have to go back to the drawing board and try and get things back where she wants them. Into the ankle breaker. She did. Oh, Kendo stick wrapped around her head. She's looking for the win. One, two, no, didn't get it. How this match?
match is still going on to five all reasoning. Shifts it back onto him. Lands a kick to the gut. Oh, it to death. Makes the cover. He gets the late score. Vicious right forearm. She's able to get out of the way. She hit the corner hard. She scores big with the counter. They're delivering the shot. Oh, natural selection. The queen has this wrapped up. In. Two. With that, she scores the ball. Ooh. Look at the sick glee she is showing over having the kendo stick. How is this superstar still in this match? Determination might be too late, but we shall see. With a close line. For the win! Pat one out of the score. Kick to the gut. Our hooked. Future shot. He's making his intentions known to everyone in the arena. Oh, we might be close to the end. She's been on the bad end of a beating here. It's time to show. Uh, oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Charlotte down a peg or two. I think so too.